Welcome back to my channel. Um, I got rid of my last video. I put it up. I made a music video. And I was talking about the masks. But then I was like, you know what? A lot of people aren't going to understand what I'm saying. And I know that most people just want to hear about um, the, the demonic. I mean, that is most of my channel. I do try to put other things in my videos not just because I'm, I don't want my channel only to be about spirits. It's it's about how to live your life in a way that I live my life because I work with, with certain forces and I'm able to achieve things. So not everything is going to be about um, demons, you know. However, however, I am going to put the video at the end of this video, uh, at the end of this um at the end of this um, video. <laughs> so anybody that wants to see one of my sexy videos, um, remember I am a musician, an artist. Don't, don't take this as if it is a threat. It is an expression. Um, yes, there's meaning behind it, like there is with everything, but you know, some people look too, too much into things and they don't see the art and they don't see the whole thing rather it's like people reading the bible they they just they take it the wrong way or they take it literally you know don't take everything i do literally because it's not really but some of it is i mean yeah obviously i get inspired <laughs> so what i am gonna do is talk to you guys about the the last three months of me working with ford ford's um books and um the benefits that I've had and uh, so you guys can uh, what 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 you're going to expect if you start to do his work and how it's um, been so beneficial for me personally. Um, right now, I am working Draga. OK, um, Aramonic sorcery. Um, and I want to go through a little bit of it now. I'm going to do something, you know, I do have Curtis's book, Curtis Joseph's book, um, The Black Magic of Aramon, and I have this one. Now, what I'm doing at the moment is reading both of them and comparing them, you know, because they're a little bit different, and his approach is different than Michael Ford's approach. However, I do suggest that you read this one first so you can understand more, because Curtis kind of is more... Um, in depth, I guess, like his writing style is just, uh, it's a little bit more intense. So to get more of a basic understandings of how he's doing it, I suggest that you read Draga, okay? Or do them both is what I'm doing. And incorporate bo incorporate ugh, both um, sigils for, for the devas when you're working with them um, together. And I'll show you what I've done for them. So, um, the first, the first, the first book that I received from Michael Ford was, um, so how, how this happened was I got the Shemyaza, uh, pendant from, um, J.S. Garrett and I was working with, uh, Shemyaza and Zazel and I really wanted to work with all of, all of the fallen angels and um, Azazel actually um, got my attention. I, I've seen Michael Ford in the past, but I've never done his work, you know? But then um, I saw this book, The Fallen Angels, and um, if you want to uh, work with the 20 Decadarks, I highly suggest this book. I mean, I worked with as many as I could and the the connections that I've had with them I've had Anel and Anel um communicate with me who is one of the deck of darks I'll show you um and it's voice and I'm gonna say it 
because, hold on, was very, uh, a very nice angelic voice. It was like a human form, you know, it was a, but it was, hold on, it was sweet. It wasn't um, what I was expecting, you know, Anna now. Okay, so, he's the 14th watcher, this is Anna now. I use this book as, as, as like, as a tool. I put, I didn't want to copy and paste and print and draw these sigils because there is Greek around here and Hebrew, 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 and it's very hard for me to do um, myself. So I'm like, I'm just going to use this book as, you know, a tome, as like just a, uh, an actual uh, working thing. So I did. Um, so Anel is the 14th watcher um, who descended from the earth, meaning thought reign of El, cloud of El. Um, the aromatic name is Anna, translate to appear, to show oneself. So he has the 20 Decker Darks, the 20 chiefs of the fallen angels out of the 200. There are 20 of them that uh, are the chiefs, the leaders, um, and they all have different houses. They all have different uh, associations to help somebody. Um, Danelle, uh, I also have done a, um, if you go through my, my channel, I did um, an evocation with the 20, 20, deca, 20 deca darks um, to feel their energy and how they kind of presented themselves to me and how they allowed me to make this video while I was under possession of them. Um, some people will agree, some people won't agree. You know, it's just how they they worked with me and they wanted, they wanted me to show people that they resemble ex um, very powerful sorceresses, sorcerers and sorceresses and wizards, but like, um, and they had some animal attributes to it. So if you go to one of my, if you go through my playlist, not my playlist, that's where all my music is. <laughs> if you go through, you'll see the 20 Deca Darks and um, put your headphones on and just feel that energy. Very, very intense, uh, crazy energy. So, um, you know, I have, I, what I've, this was my first true kind of workings with them. You know, I worked with Azazel a little bit, but I never got, I never got as much as I did when after I read this and practiced the rituals. There is a oh man, what was that great one? Uh, the the it's a the oath of the devil. No. Um, where is it? It's the one with uh, I did this one. Uh, oh, the offering to the black goat of Azazel. Whew. Amazing. I went out to the forest. I had a piece of meat. I buried it. I called the Zazel. Um, I got, I had incense and I had great um, incense manifestations of him. And he showed himself as, well, I don't know. It was kind of weird. The, the manifestation was of a man, an elder, like a, a wise man. But, you know, he's come to me as, as a goat and he's come. So I don't know what this if that was him or if that was something else, I'm not sure, but there are, I do show the pictures of the manifestations that I got in the triangle while I was, when I was um, calling Azazel. So you guys, you guys make your own decisions on what it is. Um, but yeah, the summoning of the black goat of Azazel. Oh man, and the offering to the black goat. There is just so many great um, things. So that, that's if you wanna work with the fallen angels and just to really um, feel their energy and understand them. Don't just read the books, <laughs> do the work, do the work. You know, you want connection, you want to feel them, do the work, do the rituals. I mean, he's not, they're, they're, they're powerful, they work, you know. Okay, so after I did that, oh, I went to Sabeti, life changer. <laughs> game changer the sabeti are some dark ass gods and i went straight to i had a i had this connection to them i didn't even i didn't even go to like the more gentler gods 
Enki or Enlil or, you know, Anana, I went straight to Sabeti and I made a Sabeti demonic board. Um, I worked with them for like ooh, a good month and uh, they, for a week, for a good week, they were haunting me. Um, they would, uh, they would pound on my walls. Um, they would pound on my walls around four o'clock in the morning. I'd wake up and I would hear, I would have heard, and it's not, it wasn't like, just like, it was like, pound, 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 pound. Um, I would hear growling just before I fell asleep, like some ancient, ancient growling. Um, not like a dog, like, you know, you know, it's ancient. Um, just weird noises, uh, uh, just their presence. They were just, they were making themselves known. And, um, you know, I, I, I just, I love them. They um, have, did t teach me some, uh, some stuff t on how to um, work with them specifically. They love the fact that I use a board for them. You know, I, I uh, dedicate, dedicate that board for them. I already showed you guys this, my, my board. Um, so yeah, um, I also learned so much about all of the Sumerian gods and um, the genies and, uh, you know, just so much knowledge packed into this book. Amazing. Then I went to Sakim of Pep and I did the rituals. I learned vampirism. I got a kiss from a vampire, my dreams. I talked to Ravana Nunn about that. I connected to the triad of darkness, which is um, a Pep Anubis and, um, sorry, Set Anubis, Set Ann Anubis, Seth Ann. Anubis and Sekhmet is the triad of darkness and then there's the triad of light and together it is called something but I painted out all of the sigils for here I worked the Val Colossi I mean I just worked it I just worked it I learned how to project my shadow self into um into the black mirror you know I I my daemon is communicating and speaking with me I'm empowering my daemon on a on a consistent basis. Um, I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys my daemon. Hold on. So this is my daemon. Okay, Zaraza Azai Saham is my name. Okay, um, as you can see. And he explains on how to create it and how to feed it. It's basically giving life and, and you're giving um, an image to what you are and what you're building upon. I have other daemons. It's weird, but this one here is is my my daemon. You know, my my genius. Um, my my name I got, and I I put I put some names together from um from um assyrian is it assyrian no persian so as sorry as raza is base, basically means calling the spirits of ajahi and little spirits as i or as he, um means serpent and saham means tarot terror so basically i'm a i'm a terror serpent that's ajahi and little spirits you know what I mean? Um, so if you ever see this in your dreams, as uh, something like this, and I've seen this, and that's why it's strange. This is what I'm saying. When you work certain things and you're dedicated, my daemon came out of me and revealed what it looked like. And I'm like, I have to draw it. Like, because it, I was doing my kaku daemon, and um, which is explained in uh, in the book, uh, the angel book, the watcher's book. And I started off with that, um, but then it, it grew and I couldn't see, <sighs> I saw myself in so many different forms, but um, this, is, this one came to me just after uh, I made connection with the vampire um, spirits in the night side. So they have been um, helping me and they have been guiding me and they have been facil facilitating a lot, of, a lot of things that I've been doing right now. 
and I had, I saw myself and I transform into, into this being, which is, has a serpent, um, you know, the sun and, uh, and, uh, I got my, uh, my personal sigil here holding the moon, um, holding the earth. This is Lucifer's, uh, sigil and another Lucifer sigil, sigil, and then some chem, um, alchemical symbols here, alchemy, you know. So, yeah, that's it. And it's powerful. And I have this beside me, and I feed it. So, um, now also, I, so now I'm doing the Necrominian with, with Necronicki and um, working with Set, which I've already started because I have done um, Sekhmen Apep, which is, you know, Apep and Set, and Egyptian gods, but the Necromanian is more structured around Set and more of the other ancient, uh, ancient Egyptian pantheon. This was more um, Typhonian, Typhonian magic, you know? Um, very powerful stuff here. Very powerful stuff here. I cannot express on how amazed I am and how, you know, I'm just so happy. Now, I also created an onk. It's not the best onk, okay? But it represents um, divinity and, and, and the, the nature, the God. So when I, um, when I do my rituals, I hold the Ankh in my hand as if I hold exactly what the ancient god Egyptians always had in their hand was they had an Ankh. I have, the, I have this uh, pharaoh necklace and I have another Ankh, but I wanted something that was actually a, a symbol of me while I did my spells, while I did my um, evocations, while I went through the black mirror. I also have a serpent that I'll put on my head to represent um, my divinity also, as if you, if you know, all the Egyptian gods always had the cobra. That was a sign of divinity. So when I am working in the, in, in the, in the neither world through the black mirror and I do, um, my, my energetic, energetic body will project itself through there. I also identify to all the spirits that are witnessing me and seeing me and communicating with me. They know that I am divinity, you know. I don't come there for anything else but for my will. Um, and then we work together, the ones that want to work with me. Now, <clears throat> I also have purchased The Necromancer by Connor Kendall, who is a good friend of mine. Um, so... <sighs> I'm tr I think what's going to happen is I will have him on my channel and we will discuss the necromancer with him. This is death magic, death current. Um, I just, I, I, <laughs> this is just another, so much work. I can't do this right now. I just can't. However, I mean, it's basically working with a lot of the gods that I have worked with. It's just, there's a lot more things that I have to do, like, um, that I just, I can't do that right now. Like, I can't, like, working with Santa Marta, I can't do that just at this moment, even though I've had her come in my dreams and I gave her offerings, so she is aware of who I am, you know, she, it's almost like I've already probably worked with her, so she's just reminding me, the, you know, but I just, oh man, I have, I don't know where I'm going to put her altar, like, I have Hakate down there, and it's like, ugh, I can't take Hakate's altar and replace it with Santa Marta's, you know, or can I? I don't fucking know. I'm, I don't know what to do with that situation. So, I don't know. Um, but anyways, I'm working um, draw God right now. Now, I wanted to go through, it's 20, 20 minutes. So much I have learned from Draga. Now, what I have done was I got seven stones and I painted on them um, the seven um, arc devas. Um, you know, um, I used both of Curtis Joseph and the Persian um, writings for like um, Ajahi as this one is from Curtis Joseph's and then this is a Persian 
um, writing of hers, of, yeah, her name. Uh, and then I have, you know, Z Zarek, Zarek here, and Tar, see, I'm still trying to pronounce their names properly. Um, Tar, Tayuv, V, Tavivi, Tavivi, <laughs> Tavivi, I fuck. You know, but they're like uh, twins, I think. Um, you know, I'm just beginning this really. Uh, Indira, Indira. You know, these are also um, the aromatic um, yoga that Michael Ford talks about, which when if I do do it, but I really don't concentrate on my um, chakra systems because I don't think I have any anymore. Um, but I, I use it as just an energy force coming through me. And I do do, I do visualize the twin serpents coming through me, but I really just don't, I don't focus on my chakras because I just find it very, I just, I never, I, I found it, um, I don't even know how to explain it. Um, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. So what I do is, I do it differently. I can't explain what I do, but I do it differently. I'll just tell you, there's a lot of serpents that come out of me, <laughs> okay? There's a lot of serpents that come out of me. And I'm just utilizing the energy of the, the devas anyways. So I have had kundalini experiences after I've done the the chanting or the um, uh, satar, sat, stay or um, invocations, which is, hold on. I don't want to fuck this up. Uh, oh yeah, steota. <laughs> the steota. So basically it's when you're projecting, when you're doing um, your chants for the aromatic yoga, you say it in a certain way, but it's called steota, um, vibrating. It's vibrating and summoning certain things. Uh, anyways, so um, Aramon, I have seen... I have seen, um, I want to show you, it's crazy, I, I have seen, I'm going to show you the picture so you can understand what I have seen. I think I have seen Indira, um, because I saw something that looks extremely similar, similar to this in one of my dreams. But it's hard to say because they don't stay. They just show me flashes of them, you know. It's like they just don't stay. They just a quick flash. Anyways, so Aramon, I saw this. I was I was meditating. Well, I'm not even really meditating. I was just zoning out, you know. Sometimes I don't, like, I've done so much meditation that I can just zone out now, you know. I just go there. Um, I just go there. And as I was kind of, I was drifting off, I saw... Um, a devil thing with white horns, and I've never seen this before, okay? Um, and I was like, who has white horns? Like, what, what, what did I just see? What did I just see? Then I, then I, lo I was looking, and, um, it was Aramon, I believe. Aramon. I believe. I could be wrong. It's really hard for me to say who is what and what is what because um, when I'm in, <clears throat> when they come to me in my dreams, sometimes, a lot of times they don't, they don't say, hi, I'm Aramon. <laughs> it's either in weird languages or um, just the energy. And, if, and because I don't work with these gods for, for like a year only with them, I don't really um, build up too much of understanding them to the point I kind of work with them and then I go back to them work with them go back to them work with them go back and why can't I what is going on here hold on this is very strange and dear like I have all of okay so the seven arc devas um Anyways, I can't find this as well. Do you see how there's those devils like that? That's what I saw. That's what I saw. Okay. So, and be, it was kind of even before I was looking at these pictures. That's how I know I, it was something. 
it was I, had, I believe it was him now um, I haven't really gotten um, dead uh, bo human bone which I'm gonna be ordering from uh, Michael Ford store at least uh, Luciferian Apotheca because he does sell human bone um, powder and human bone that way I can put human bone in the corners of my room and invite the um, the gin into my into my into my place so yeah so I have the seven stones I have a candle and I get a brush my, my, my brush with my hair and I'll offer my hair to them while I do certain things with them um, now yeah, so I can't tell you the experiences that I've had yet because I haven't had too many. Only that um, I have been able to tap into, um, I think it's Indira. I don't know what when it is again, but I am waking up with so much energy and, and motivation to exercise. Like I'll go jogging twice a day. And it's something that I'm using to, I needed to destroy my laziness in that aspect because I was not doing what I wanted to do. I really wanted to push myself. So as I'm calling the devas into me and doing the aromatic yoga, I'm concentrating on a certain goal that I want, which was I need to exercise. I need to get motivated. Remember, I was talking to you guys about motivation before. I had no motivation. I had no motivation. I'm on lockdown. I'm, I just had no motivation. So um, all of a sudden, I just got up and I'm like, I'm going to the truck. And I did it. And I ran. And I've been running every day, twice a day for the last week. And I can actually finally do a full lap jogging. A full lap. I was just jogging a little bit and walking, jogging a little because I haven't jogged in, in, in 10 years. I mean, I, was, I used to go to the gym, but like jog, jog, you know, and I used to run when I was a child. I was in cross, cross country, so I, I know that I can do it and I miss it, so, but I didn't, I'm, I'm 39 right now, so I'm like, hmm, I don't know, my knee's going to do it. No, I can do it. I can do it, and um, I'm actually, every day I'm getting a little bit better. So that's how I use use the gods, is I, I focus on something that I need and want to eliminate and create. And um, using gods of destruction, I will focus on destroying the things that stand my way. And using gods of creation and order, I will call upon them like um, Shamas. He is um, a Sumerian god of the sun. Also, um, there's so many raw, there's so many gods of... of, of Sorry guys, I got cut off and got distracted. So I'm just gonna end that video <laughs> like that. Um, so I highly suggest um, if you really want to work with any of those um, pantheons that I talked about, uh, go out and get his books and, and learn how to do it because he just, he, he knows how to do it really well. And then you have your foundation and you can work with them and call upon them the way you want. But like I said, the best way to work with any spirit instead of trying to, you can read as much as you can, but then you're going to infiltrate your mind and your perception of them. The best way is to allow these gods and spirits to work through you. And as you develop, they will develop a better relationship with you. You're not going to have the same experiences as everybody else. You know, they, it takes time. It takes time. So relax. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Check one, two. Yeah, yeah. What's up? What's up? Ooh, what's up? What's up? Brother, what's up? Homie, 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 homie. <laughs> These weak. <laughs> These weak ass motherfucking snitches, witches, bitches. These weak ass motherfucking snitches, witches, bitches. These weak. These weak. These weak little bitches. The little snitches, bitches, bitches. I'm coming for you. I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna eat ya. I'm gonna expose ya. Dark adversaries. I call upon Set. I call upon Amhep. I call upon Aramon. I call upon Zeki. I call upon Lilith. I call upon Lamastu. I call upon myself. Upon you. You just don't got it. You just don't got what it takes. You just don't got it. I am Queen B. Bit B. I'm only like a little bitch. bitch. Snitch, bitch. You will die. <laughs> you will cry. 